Good day. Right now, I'm reading "Loving You," so that's I assume an entry to the short story competition in the heart section. So, what's this about? Elsie, an introvert, dislikes narcissists because to her they seem elitist, always looking down on those who don't care about appearances. Upon meeting Ar Aries, she starts to realize that maybe it's not everyone about her that is wrong for being narcissists, but her perspective on things due to lack of care. Because if something has value. To if something has value, you have to try. So she has to ask herself, do I have value? So I think I've actually read this before, but it's been like a long time ago. It's like start of this month. So, so yeah, I kind of forgot what you might have also changed your icon there, maybe, because I definitely don't remember that icon or the title, but I do remember this synopsis. So I definitely have read this. But definitely not on camera because I haven't started recording my read-throughs until like, I don't know, later than May the 4th. <laughs> anyway, so let's start from the beginning because uh, one, I could use a refresher and two, uh, for the benefit of the audience. Yes, I, I've definitely read, read this. Uh, also like, yeah, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with caring about your appearances. Like, Narcissism, as in caring about your appearances, is pretty harmless, and I don't see why people hate on it. But narcissism, as in like, uh, like an excessive sense of entitlement that like you, you, you're entitled to things even if it steps on, even if you step on other people's toes to get it, then that kind of narcissism is not great. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, <laughs> let, let's let's read the actual comic and not dwell on that. Um, Uh, do you think caring for your appearance is wrong? Not really. Uh, okay. What is the reason why we care or stop caring about our appearance? Many reasons. Okay. It's an interesting coat there. It's like on your, on your upper arm. The answer is always the same. Love. Love as in value. The value you have in yourself. Excuse me, you're looking for a specific size. You're very beautiful. Would you mind giving me your number? And if you are not very busy, would you like to get boba with me? I assume boba is like bubble tea, I think. I, I vaguely recall that being the case, but maybe boba is something entirely different and I'm entirely wrong. Uh, no, thanks. Not interested. But my boyfriend can take you up on that offer. She really is beautiful. Right, I, okay, like my boyfriend can take you up on that offer. She, uh, by she, I, I don't think... I think that's like someone else talking. It's not her saying, my boyfriend, she is very beautiful because uh, you called him your boyfriend and not your girlfriend. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the boyfriend, okay. How many times has someone taken interest in me or even just asked me for my number today? That's right, none. Yeah, this kind of, like, I saw this coming because I read it before, but, yeah, like, yeah, it's, like, it's obviously set up for it being her uh, in a monologue, but it's actually hers. Uh, loving You by the 10, uh, one of your, uh, by the 10, you're unlike your group, I assume. I have never heard of that before, but, um, yeah, might check it out. Uh I assume this is something else that you guys do. Um, well, I mean, it obviously is because it's by the people who do your unlike your whatever that is. Maybe it's another comic. Maybe it's something else entirely. Anyway, okay, let's go, Al. You can do this. Hello, can I assist you in anything? Do you need help finding something? Uh, hmm. Eh? Hmm. No thanks. We no thank you. We're just browsing. 
There is a neck accessory in the counter up front that would lo look lovely with that top. Would you like? We said we are fine. Sorry. Oh my God. She is trying to give us fashion advice. <laughs> Bet she doesn't even like herself. You guys see how she's dressed. I guess she really believes that stupid quote that says someone's trash is someone else's treasure. Like, okay, I, I get, like, not wanting shop assistants to, like, give you advice, but, like, because, but, yeah, you're, you're kind of being jerks about it, but, like, uh, I, I do have to say that I sympathize with, like, please leave me alone when I browse. I, I don't, I don't want, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, if you don't even want yourself, why the hell should someone else want you? I hate people who want pity like that. I only wanted to. Yeah, then again, like it's kind of part of your job to like help people. So, so yeah, that, that's kind of the thing about working in customer service. It really sucks because customers don't always want to be serviced, but it's your job to do so. So uh, yeah, it's like, a, yeah, I'm just so very glad I don't have to work in that field anymore. Uh, I'll be taking my break. I'll be back. There you are. Uh, thank you, Aries. Welcome aboard. Thank you, ma'am. Nailed it. Uh, damn loading things. Um, okay, when, where's the start? Here? Here. Uh, walking. Uh, taking a selfie. Okay, one pick to mark the day I got hired. Just hired. I have to keep calm. I can't let people see me like this. Uh, someone's gonna see you like this, but don't worry, he's just hired, so like, how you don't, he's not a customer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, nudge. Yeah. Uh, I'm so stupid, I should have looked where I was going. Okay, at least he didn't yell at you. I, I mean, I know he wouldn't because I read this before, but yeah. Huh? Where'd you go? Why is it taking so long to find her? People can be so in insensitive, damn narcissistic bastards. Well, I mean, the, like, came, well, I mean, I guess kind of slightly related, but like, eh. I hate how people only care about appearances. Yeah, she is low-key wearing designer glasses. Narcissistic, you say? Elsie, I'll make them pay for making you cry. Wait, what? Just you wait. He must be the jerk that overreacted towards Elsie. Like, he, he did, like, apologize for not watching where he's going when she spilled a drink on him, so not really an overreaction. Oh no, your shirt is a mess. It almost looked like the real you is leaking out from inside. Disgusting. Like, I'm not sure why Elsie said he react. Like, uh, unless, because I mean, okay, anyway, let, let's just read on and let me talk about this later. Wow. <laughs> now to deal with these three bitches. So yeah, she knows it's those three bitches and not him. So I'm not sure why she, uh, like, um, I don't know, took shots at the guy because, like, she knows it's the other, uh, girls who, like, was all, like, snobs and shit. So, uh, so I'm not sure why, like, she thought he overreacted because, like, reacting to having a drink spilled on you with, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I wasn't watching where I was going. I don't, I don't think that's an overreaction, so I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, anyway. Okay. Uh, thanks for the support. Hope you all enjoy our story so far. Our group is called One of Your Unlike Your. We are a group of creators and we have many different kinds of stuff to share with you. Please follow us for a variety of content and each person in our group has a unique style. So feel free to follow us and look through our stuff. Thank you. Okay, so 
so you just uh, that's kind of a group name it's not a thing or working on together okay we get to like and rate our story uh, I shall raid the second uh, episode. Wow. Well, this might get interesting. Amy, please don't. I'm grateful that you care, but I have to be the one to learn to deal with these, situa these situations. And we can't act that way here, or I might get fired if I'm making an uncomfortable atmosphere at work. I understand, but I don't like this. Thank you for understanding. Hug. Fine, I give. Your sign make using my weakness to control me. Wait, what? Who's using whose weakness now? Uh, the smile and the sunflowers? Is that your weakness? I know. Um, about your cola. Hmm? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Let me buy you another. It's okay. I was also distracted. Sorry. By the way, my name is Eris. When I came... Aries, uh, I know. Because uh, Eris sounds like something completely different. Aries. I'll try to pronounce it Aries. Even though that might also be the incorrect pronunciation. Uh... When I came in, I noticed you helping others. So I assume you work here, right? Yes, I do. Sorry, my brain is blocking my name tag. Elsie. Oh, cool. Your name's Elsie. That's kind of cute. I'll be starting tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Loving you. Bye. Hey. Is he flirting with my... I wonder if... The only reason he apologized was because he felt bad, or was it also out of fear that Amelia would say something to him? Well, she already did, and I don't know why she did, because he didn't overreact. Um, anyway, uh, next day. Okay. Squeak? Elsie. You look different. Uh, okay, where is, is this, is this just, okay, I assume that is just whiteness. Are you packing clothes? Or taking them out to hang on the things, rather, sorry. Like, why would you pack clothes? <laughs> morning. Ah, uh, good morning. No cute, vicious friend. Today. Uh, hi, do you also work here? No, I'm close friends with the manager and Elsie, so I visit them frequently. By the way, don't mess with Elsie. He didn't. Come back when you're a main character. <laughs> eh. Eh? Eh? The fuck? <laughs> that, that's Emmy, by the way. Hand? You're reaching for a box. Okay. You need help? Must be nice being tall. I like it. I always feel like people are looking up to me. Huh? The girls from yesterday. What did they do to make you get really upset? Tried to give them fashion advice and they mocked me by saying someone that looks like me shouldn't be giving advice. They said that if you don't want, if you don't even want yourself, then why the hell should someone else? I see. I understand. It's not trying for your appearance really that bad should your appearance really be that important to people i mean if it's uh i mean not so, sorry if i sound like a bitch for saying this but like if you're giving fat like of, of course it doesn't really matter in general whether you care about your appearance or not like but like yeah, if you're giving fashion advice i guess like i can kind of understand why people would uh not take like you won't have that much credibility giving fashion advice if you're not dressed fashionably like i can kind of i mean that's no excuse for being a bitch and like like being like oh i hate people like that who just looking for pity or whatever and like like dissing you out in the open like that that's that, there's no excuse for that but, i mean i i kind of get why like you might lose credibility 
when you're like working in this industry, I guess, even though like, I assume this is just like a, like a like mass production kind of retailer dealio and not a like a high end kind of dealio. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, I don't know anything about any of this, by the way. So I'm just talking out of my butt. So uh, don't listen to me. Anyway, let's move on. Yes, it's bad. It's not the whole not caring. It's the whole not caring when you care. You, when you care, you try. Wait, what? Okay, I understand. It's not trying for your appearance really that bad. It's your, it should be important. Yes, it's bad. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's the whole not caring. When you care, you try. I mean, yes, when you're working in the fashion industry, but no in general. Like, you don't have to care about everything. You don't have to care about this particular thing. If it's important, it has value, therefore it's worth trying. Well, maybe some people think appearance is not important and doesn't have value. Uh, but again, if you're working in the fashion industry, I guess that's a different story. Um, I don't like the way the girls went about it, but they were right. Elsie, I don't know you, but you are worth something. You need to start valuing yourself. Yeah, I, I disagree with the notion that if you don't care about your appearance, you don't value yourself. Like, that's, that's incorrect, dude. No. <laughs> um, anyway. But again, if you're working in the fashion industry, you should probably, like, brush up a bit on your appearance, like, I think. Anyway, uh, but if you worry about the way you look, you will always be searching for people's approval and attention. And even that, I think, is not necessarily true. Like, you can just, like, dress up all pretty for yourself and just, like, yeah, and anyway. It's always about the why. Is it because you want people's attention? Or is it because you want to express yourself and be proud, therefore liking yourself? Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I was getting at uh, with my counter-argument to that statement. But I still disagree with, like, because, like, People express themselves in different ways, and like if people don't care to express themselves through fashion, then they don't have to, unless of course they work in the fashion industry. Again, anyway, fashion enhances your confidence sometimes. Your fashion should be a reflection of your ideals and creativity. Uh, after all, we live in a world where our actions are more important than our words. Okay. Thank you for the support. Please place us help us place high help us place high in the competition in the contest by giving us a, a uh, giving us a subscribe a like and subscribe okay so that helps you in the competition okay so and please share your thoughts in the comments there, there are 20 comments here how many comments were there in the previous one i might read them all because there's only two episodes at the moment so it won't be a lot of reading if um Unless there's like a hundred comments or something. 31. Hmm. How many pages? One page. Yeah, let's read them all. The art is nice, but the story is nothing remarkable. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I disagree. It kind of tackles some interesting like concepts. Like the 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 story, I guess, is kind of a, like a on the surface, it's kind of like a typical uh, guy meets girl, blah blah blah. They fall in love, whatever. Uh, but it tackles some interesting like. Uh, philosophical questions so to speak about appearance and stuff like it got me ranting so yeah 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 uh, i'm not gonna dislike but like i agree like dislike that <laughs> anyway uh tell my friends about the story because it's amazing it's a great story it's somewhat relatable i assume this thanks for the support it's really appreciated this looks interesting with the read but just one question why is the older version of the villain from Toy Story in here, joking, joking. I don't know what the villain from Toy Story looks like, so I, I would not. What do you mean? What is he wearing? The bad guy who collects the toys in the first movie. I don't know the plaid shirt and the way the old guy smile remind me of the collector. Ah, the nervous smile guy, meme guy. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's like Hydro Pain Harold or something. I, I think I saw him. Yeah. Uh, damn, she's so badass. The art. Style is pretty cool. Really looking forward to more. Keep going. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Artist. She's my favorite too. Uh, the art is really nice. Seems like an interesting story. I, I love how long the post is as well. It has potential. I don't feel connected to the MC though. A little more insight into how she's feeling or what she's thinking might be nice. 
Thank you, and we appreciate the feedback. Look, like the story so far? I think it has what it takes to win. The storyline seems interesting. Maybe Elsie will change her appearance later, perhaps. Don't think Elsie looks cute? Joking, joking. Also, like, yeah, there's, there's like multiple wa ways. Like, if, if your appearance really is an expression of your, like, creativity and stuff, and then, like, then, like, having a stereotypical, like, not caring kind of appearance might actually be like their own style you know so like yeah you don't just because they don't look like they care doesn't necessarily mean they don't like they might not and that's fine too really imo like i don't particularly care about dressing up but like some people their style is looking like they don't care and yeah like uh if you make assumptions you'll make an ass out of you and me uh Nah, I, I actually don't agree with that quote uh, for reasons that I won't get into, but anyway. Um, do you think her character is cute? Yeah, she she's coming across as more sympathetic than I would have expected from the synopsis, because the synopsis makes made, made me think she's kind of some kind of hipster who judges people for caring about their appearance, but like, no, she, she's actually pretty sympathetic so far. Um, Look forward to the story. I think I like how the story goes. Really would love to see how the story and the arts improve. Thanks for the all support. And I'll, I'll try hard. Yes, that's going to happen with Eris and Elsie. And the woman with pink dyed hair is really a savage and a best friend. Emmy is pretty cool. It's good that like she cares about Elsie, but like again, I don't know why she uh, dissed the uh, Aries there, because he didn't do anything, like at all. I don't get it. He didn't overreact at all. Um, yeah, I'm overreacting to her overreaction, Emmy's overreaction to Aries' apparent alleged overreaction. Yes, I, I'm gonna overreact to that a lot. Okay, because because he didn't do anything. What the fuck? Anyway. Uh, well, well, I really love it. I'm going to tell this to my best friend. Now that pink haired girl is going to show them what they've done to Elsie. Yeah, I'm here to support. Show them what they deserved. Winky face. Yeah, it's finally here. Looks like this is going to be a fun ride. Buckle up, everyone. Okay, pink hair ma'am, you're awesome. Just make a dress code for everyone and then the customers won't at least be judged based on their clothes. I mean, the customers will be chis. Like, every, like, even when I go shopping, I kind of want to shop on my own and not be disturbed by the staff because I'll prefer that, prefer what I like to try and buy, but I can be polite about it. Exactly. Like, yeah. So, yeah, some, some customers don't really want to be bothered, but at least be polite about it. Yeah. And this happens in real life, it happens in real life way too much and not just in a clothing store. We all judge someone based on their looks when we don't know them personally. Thank you. Emmy does rock. Emmy is my favorite. Except for, okay, I'm going to, <laughs> uh, I, I will try to shut up about that. Um, I, I enjoy the story and art. I think it's remarkable in its own, a, own way. For example, a girl that work, works in a designer store, so it is a designer store, it's one of those like fans. Like, uh, I, I kind of assume, like, I was kind of on the fence, like, maybe that, like, because, like, uh, what's her name? Elsie doesn't seem to care much about appearances. So I was wondering, like, why would she take a job at a designer store? And why would the designer store hire her? Because, like, it, Fashion doesn't seem to be her thing, so why would she even work there? Uh, so that's kind of what pinged my mind. At, that that that's why the idea of this just being a like ma a mass production retail store, like a, a low end kind of like I know uh, Target or something. <laughs> well, not low end, but like just like generic kind of clothing where you go to buy clothes so you have things to wear and not a fashion place. Um, that, that's kind of why I thought that, but then then again, like those girls there were total snobs and stuff. So so it might be a high-end designer store and I just wasn't sure, but like, so this is a designer store. So I, I, I now wonder like why Elsie works there? Like, like is, does it pay better than an, a, another retail job or something? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, uh, she obviously could, but chooses not to. Wait. A girl that works in a designer store doesn't change herself to look better. Yeah, uh, she obviously could, but she's not to. The artist beautiful, and the story really shows that nowadays society tends to judge others based on their looks rather than understanding or even accepting them. The beginning is strong, and the characters are far from perfect, but that's what's going to make me stick around. 
Reminds me of the beginning of The Devil Wears Prada. Thank you, dude. Hmm. Yeah, still, it still makes me wonder, like, why a girl who doesn't care about appearances will work in a designer fashion store kind of dealio. Because I certainly wouldn't work in a place like that unless, like, it's, like, a really, really, really good opportunity. And even, even then, probably not, actually, because, like, if I'm getting paid a lot of money, I'll probably just feel guilty if, like, I run away crying when people get mad at me, which I probably would, to be entirely honest. I will not get mad at you, but, like, make fun of you. Um, come back when you're a main character. We'll need a friend like Emmy. By the way, love the art. Looking forward to how, looking forward to how this story goes. Heck yeah, Emmy is great and funny, and thanks for sticking with us. It's great advice for us. Also to the people who like judging their appearance. Uh, the writer says thanks. Right? Okay. Yeah, because you 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 all are sharing this like one account. Yeah. So that roast and the fourth wall break though. Yep, roast Emmy is the best. I'll need his smooth talking. Ellie and his smooth dialogue. Ellie. Wait, Ellie. Oh, Ellie is the writer, I assume. Um, it's kind of cute. Thank you. Have a feeling we will be needing some bricks and cement to fix the fourth wall. I'll bring the cement. This is on my birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. That means a lot. Thank you for writing this and working hard on it. Okay, so this is it for now. Um... And yeah, I will, looking forward to seeing more uh, when the next one come out. May, maybe I'll wait for the whole thing to come out because this is a short story that is for the contest. So I'll probably try to wait for the whole thing to come out, unless it's only a three episode, a three episode, in which case the next episode will be the end, but I don't know. But I think I'll, I'll read this when it's finished. Um, so yeah, uh, goodbye.